Did you know that Africa is bigger than the United States, Canada, and India combined? Africa covers an area larger than 11.7 million square miles. More than 15% of the world's total population lives there. But besides its massive size and population, you'd be amazed by the astounding mysteries its borders contain. Everything from huge churches carved into stone, boiling lakes of acid brimming with color, and even the remains of Star Wars movies filmed long ago. Don't get us started on Giraffe Manor, 15 shocking things recently discovered in Africa. Number 15. Sud Wetlands. Imagine living here. Welcome to Sud Wetlands Fishing Village in South Sudan. It's the largest wetlands in Africa and second in the world, with an estimated area of over a million acres. Just how wet it remains depends on the seasons. It can almost double in size during high seasonal floods. The wetlands are the products of the White Nile River that comes from Lake Victoria and Uganda in addition to rainfall runoff from the surrounding areas. And this unusual place is also host and acts as a breeding ground for a number of migratory birds and others that come from Europe and Asia. Wildlife species found are African elephants and, of course, buffalo. Every year, some 800,000 white-eared cobs, a kind of antelope, travel through these wetlands. And we can't forget the amount of fish available to these waters of South Sudan. The culture and society of the approximately 1 million people inhabiting this region are closely linked to its ecology. These groups have developed traditions that have allowed them to adapt to the inundated and seasonally variable conditions across the Sud, including the seasonal rebuilding of settlements on small islands and traditional hunting and fishing techniques. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. The Dead Forest. The trees here have been dead for around 600 years and have been scorched black by centuries of sun. The dead forest, called Deadvli, is in Namibia. The name Deadvli literally translates to mean dead valley as it's located in one of the harshest climates on earth in a valley between the tallest dunes in the world. While it's a dry desert land, it once contained a flowing river and housed many trees and plant life. Once upon a time in the desert's history, the pan would have been a river or lake, but as time went on and the sand dunes started to close in and cut off the river leading a kind of paradise frozen in time. Now all that remains are tree skeletons trapped in a white clay marsh set against red rusted dunes and a brilliant blue sky. The land itself is quite unbelievable, and at night this haunting place has some of the clearest skies in the world. Even in its surreal, out-of-this-world appearance, it's known as being the most beautiful dead place on Earth. Nowadays, the temperature is so dry in this part of Namibia that the trees remaining cannot properly decompose, and the desert sun cooked them into the sand like blackened bones never to vanish from the Earth. But it has its uses. It was used as a psychic dream location in the Jennifer Lopez film, The Cell. Number 13. Ancient Footprints Religion tells us that a supreme being created the world and everything in it. Science, on the other hand, tells us that humans evolved from their ancestors to be what we are now. It's one of the longest debates that continues today. In Africa, the appearance of humans and many other natural phenomena have been explained in myths. In southeastern Botswana, local legend has it that the first humans were created in pools like this. This national monument, which is one of the well-known creation sites in southern Africa, consists of a slab of sandstone pierced by two deep holes and engravings. The creation story told among locals is that life began when a powerful hunter emerged from a water hole and is considered to be the first ancestor of the Botswana. He was followed by animals and then his people. They left their footprints on the soft sandstone to harden over time. The sandstone consists of large natural holes that collect rainwater. More than 1,000 years ago, people visited the site to water their livestock or collect water for domestic use. To date, these ancient footprints are still an important ritual site as people continue to collect water at the site for ritual purposes, including for rain-making ceremonies. Number 12. World's Largest Lava Lake Stratovolcanoes are formed over time as layers of hardened lava and volcanic ash build up, forming a steep profile. 
Mount Vesuvius, which destroyed the town of Pompeii thousands of years ago, is one of the world's most well-known. This is the next most famous active stratovolcano located near the eastern border of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Few volcanoes are as spectacular. Known for its active lava lake and relatively frequent eruptions, this incredible volcano has the potential for widespread disaster. Yikes! Throughout history, stratovolcanoes have proven to be the deadliest, most hazardous of all. During the volcano's most recent eruption, hundreds of thousands of people fled the nearby city of Goma as lava raced from the volcano. A similarly deadly eruption occurred in 1977 when scientists measured lava traveling at 60 miles an hour, faster than had ever been previously observed. But as seen in these breathtaking images, scientists and photographers have still been able to capture the bubbling, fiery lava that churns within the mountain's lava lake. Interestingly enough, only a handful of lava lakes have been discovered here, making this volcano a great candidate for study and observation. Number 11. Giraffe Manor The Giraffe Manor should be on everyone's bucket list. When planning your safari, it's the perfect start or finish to what will undoubtedly be a magical trip. It's set in 12 acres of private land in the indigenous forest of Nairobi in Kenya. The Giraffe Manor is one of Nairobi's most iconic buildings. The hotel has a staff of 60 to take care of your every need, with chefs on call to prepare your favorite meal. And whether it's breakfast in the sunroom or candlelit dinner in the cozy dining room, you can bet you'll have a long-necked companion or two. One of the most fascinating things about this place is its resident herd of giraffes. They visit every morning and evening, and you can see their long necks stretching into the windows looking for treats or handouts before retreating to their ancient forest sanctuary. Sharing your breakfast with the endangered Rothschild giraffe is an incredible, totally unique experience. The historic manor houses a world-class appeal, too, that harks back to the 1930s when visiting East Africa and safaris were especially in vogue. While these are still wild animals and no interaction is guaranteed when you book your room, the giraffes are savvy enough to know that people just love to spoil them with snacks. Number 10. Real Life Star Wars Planet If you're a fan of the Star Wars film series, then you're probably aware that the main character Luke Skywalker hails from the planet of Tatooine, but you might not be aware that it's a real place in Tunisia. Filming for the original Star Wars film first began in Tunisia in March of 1976 near the Sahara Desert. Many of the original sets used to film still remain standing today and have become some of the most popular attractions for tourists in the country. Star Wars creator George Lucas had originally planned to be a jungle planet, but it was later decided that Luke Skywalker's home would be a desert-filled world. So, the fictional city of Mos Espa, home to a young Anakin Skywalker, was constructed from scratch in the desert, and traditional local architecture was used to portray the quarters where Anakin lives with his mother. A construction crew took eight weeks to transform desert locations into a convincing otherworldly landscape. Many of the structures were filled in using CGI, but much of the first stories of the buildings still stand as a squat beige town square that looks as though it was shaved cleanly off at the top. Yet, visitors can still mill about the exteriors as though they were on the far-flung desert planet. Number 9. Jacques Cousteau's Underwater Village Jacques Cousteau was a French naval officer, explorer, conservationist, filmmaker, scientist, photographer, author, and researcher who studied the sea in all forms of life and water. And these structures are a visible reminder of a series of three underwater habitats built between 1962 and 1965, developed by the world-famous Ocean Pioneer. The underwater village was supposed to be proof that it's possible for humans to live underwater without interruption for extended periods of time, at increasing depths. The habitats were also built to explore the underwater world and conduct research. It was fixed 25 feet under the surface of the water and fed with compressed air. Hot water came through a plastic pipe from a ship in food and waterproofed containers. At the bottom of the habitat was an airlock which allowed the researchers to exit into the ocean where they built compounds for fish and studied their behavior and took measurements for topographical underwater maps. As for furnishings, these included infrared lamps used as heaters, a record player, a radio, three telephones, a video surveillance system, a library, a TV, and a bed. A year later, a second habitat was relaunched near the Roman Reef off the coast of Port Sudan. Number 8. 
Karoo Spiral In the Karoo region of South Africa, mysterious spiral shapes carved into the ground have attracted conspiracy theorists who liken them to the famous geoglyphs in the Natska Desert. They're known as Snake Eagle Thinkpath. The impressive structure is in honor of a breeding pair of black-chested snake eagles who are residents in the area. The snake eagle drawing celebrates the unity of species and habitat. The heart of the eagle is formed by two intertwining shapes that symbolize not only the food of the eagle, but also the flow of water in the nearby river and the air currents that keep it aloft. The Karu geoglyphs are an initiative of an organization that aims to work in balance with environment involving local communities, creating distinctive land art that promotes awareness of the environment and local issues. They aim to use the snake eagle thinking path to draw attention to species under threat as a result of plans for fracking in the already water-stressed, semi-arid Karu. The geoglyph consists of one continuous line, a footpath that leads the walker back to where they started. While other geoglyphs were created by digging trenches in the ground, the snake eagle thinking path is depicted in environmentally friendly white lime dots. Number 7. Pink Lake Sitting less than an hour away from the capital of Senegal in West Africa is Lake Retba, a coral pink lake that's nestled between white sand dunes and the Atlantic Ocean. According to locals, the salt content of the lake can be compared to that of the Dead Sea and even exceeds that during the dry season. A salt-loving microorganism combined with high mineral concentration and the intensity of the summer sun are the producers of the cotton candy colored water. The unique lake, which is one of Senegal's most popular tourist destinations, is said to be intensely pink during the dry season and less during the rainy season. Also known as Lac Rose, its salt content makes for increased human buoyancy as well as a busy salt industry. And beginning in the 1970s, locals started to collect and sell salt for income following a period of economic hardships and drought. Salt collectors arrive daily at the lake and spend seven hours a day collecting the precious mineral from the lake bed. It's estimated that about 1,000 people work around the lake on a daily basis and harvest some 24,000 tons of salt each year. It turns blood red when conditions are just right. Number 6. Underground Churches these 11 monolithic churches have been referred to as the eighth wonder of the world and are carved out of the bedrock here. At 8,000 feet on the central plateau of Ethiopia, each church is carved from a single gigantic block of stone. No bricks, no mortar, no concrete, no lumber, just rock sculpted into architecture. And not much is known about who built them or why. But the faithful of the church say there's no mystery really. For them, the churches of Lilibia were built by angels. Often there are priests inside the churches chanting ancient prayers and psalms. The churches are organized into two main clusters and include the largest monolithic church in the world, standing nearly 25 feet high and supported by 72 columns, all patiently chipped out of rock. The churches only appear when you stand virtually above them, looking down from ground level to a series of carved trenches and courtyards. The current church has been dated to the late 12th or early 13th century AD and is thought to have been constructed during the reign of King Lalabella, from whom these churches get their name. Today, it's a high place of Ethiopian Christianity, still a place of pilgrimage and devotion. Number 5. Acid Rainbow Pools This is one of the lowest places on Earth at over 400 feet below sea level where lakes of acid form colorful sulfur formations in the hottest and deepest part of the desert, the Danakil Depression. It's a contender for the hottest place on Earth, reportedly 93 degrees based on a daily average. As for these acid rainbow pools, the tectonic plate activity in the Earth's crust is responsible for the depression's lakes, steaming hot springs, geysers, and rocky terrain. Danikil forms a part of the Afar Triangle, a geological depression in the faraway northeastern part of Ethiopia, where three tectonic plates are slowly diverging. With the passage of time, the volcanic eruptions released lava to finally seal off an inland sea which evaporated in the arid climate. The presence of yellow, orange, green, red, blue, and green colors is due to the sea and rainwater from the neighboring coasts that get absorbed into the sulfuric lakes and heat up due to the magma. When the salt from the sea reacts with the minerals in the magma, it gives birth to these beautiful colors. 
As the heat evaporates the water, colorful crust-like deposits develop across the land, which makes with the cooler turquoise lakes in the depression. And that's why tourists love it. Number 4. Devil's Jacuzzi Victoria Falls is a huge waterfall, plunging down a 354-foot drop on the Zambia-Zimbabwe border 38,430 cubic feet of water per second flows over into the abyss. Welcome to the Devil's Jacuzzi, more famously known as the Devil's Pool. The millions of gallons of water that cascade over the falls every minute are not to be messed with. So, as a safety precaution, guides are available at the entrance of the falls to accompany you to the pool. Although it's open to the public, it's a journey. It takes a long walk and swim in the Zambezi River to reach Devil's Pool. To say it's adrenaline pumping is an understatement. Then, once you're in, you're pushed to the edge by the force of the river, with the rock lip edge bringing you to a halt. A once-in-a-lifetime experience, the force of the Zambezi crashing down over the edge. But be warned, if you ever go swimming at the Devil's Pool, it's entirely possible to go over the waterfall. Plus, the guides will check for crocodiles or hippos before you get in it. Yeah, you heard that right. There may be dangerous animals swimming in the Zambezi River, but the guides won't put you in harm's way, at least on purpose. Number 3. Giant Squid Sightings such as this are one in a million. Check out this giant squid, a carnivorous beast whose one-foot-wide eyes are the largest known peepers in the animal kingdom. An estimated 13 feet long and 660 pounds, this squid washed ashore on a South African beach. That's actually on the shorter side for a giant squid whose females can reach up to 60 feet long. But it's so rare to see them. Tales of its size have inspired the kraken, the fabled sinker of ships, as well as the killer creature described in author Jules Verne's 1869 serialized book, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Giant squid have eight arms, as well as two longer tentacles that help them grab prey. Each of these ten appendages are covered with serrated suckers with powerful suction. These massive creatures usually hang out about 2,000 feet to 3,200 feet below the surface, in underwater canyons and where continents or islands slope down into the deep sea. These areas likely have plentiful food for the giants, including fish, other cephalopods, a group that includes squids, octopus, cuttlefish, and nautiluses, and even other giant squids. It wasn't until 2004 that the giant squid was seen in its natural habitat, and in 2013 that the first video footage of it was published. Number 2. The Desert Eye They call it the Eye of the Sahara. Welcome to the Rikat structure in Western Africa. When NASA's Gemini 4 mission, a four-day orbit around Earth in 1965, they discovered the Eye of the Sahara in Africa's west. And it's captured imaginations ever since. On the ground, it's about 25 miles across, and the huge and mysterious geologic formation is hard to spot walking around on Earth. Some have proposed that everything from giants to advanced ancient civilizations have been found within the 30 miles that make up this formation. The hole might have been, these people say, an ancient lake of the ancient collapsed city. It's not. This circular geologic feature is thought to be caused by an uplifted dome that's been eroded to expose the originally flat rock layers. Originally, scientists thought the structure was an impact crater from a meteor striking the Earth. But beginning more than 100 million years ago, the supercontinent was ripped apart by plate tectonics and formed what is now Africa and South America. Molten rock pushed up toward the surface, creating a dome of rock layers, kind of like a big pimple on the Earth's surface. And eventually, it popped. That collapsed the bubble, and the Eye of the Sahara has been looking out from the world ever since. Number 1. African Stonehenge Adam's calendar on a mountain in South Africa is at least 75,000 years old. This makes it one of the oldest man-made structures found to date on Earth. In 2003, a pilot was flying over the hills of this region of South Africa when he crashed his plane into the mountainside. After exiting the plane, he saw before him three monolithic five-ton dolomite stones sticking out of the ground, and behind them a giant stone circle. The megalithic stone calendar is dubbed Adam's Calendar, nicknamed the birthplace of the sun, and dubbed Africa's Stonehenge. Various astronomical alignments have been identified at the site and it's possibly the only example of a completely functional, mostly intact megalithic stone calendar in the world. The discovery has been hailed by scholars in physics all over the world. 
This discovery is the flagship among many thousands of ancient stone ruins that lie scattered throughout southern Africa. It has direct links to the ancient gold mines of King Solomon and opens up a whole new hidden part of human history. It predates both Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid of Giza by tens of thousands of years. If you haven't been to Africa, now you know this massive continent is full of exciting things to explore. Don't you agree? Like and subscribe if you do and stay tuned for more great videos.